As you can see, I have opened up a simple project with just four exam rooms. So what we're going to talk about today is how would you go about planning casework, equipment, or, or really anything in this kind of situation. And today we're only looking at four rooms, but how would that change if there were 10 rooms or even 100 rooms? So traditionally, you'd have to go up to the insert tab up here and you'd slowly go to load family and you'd bring in each casework family one at a time. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this fetch tab and we're going to launch fetch. So what is fetch? Fetch is a cloud-based 5D BIM plugin. So if you go to the top right, we can actually just search exam rooms. As you can see, the search results are model groups instead of just individual families. Early in the design phase, pre-configured groups can be very helpful for understanding spatial and budgetary requirements. If we go to the filter up here, we can actually filter by width. So if we just type in 5 feet, um, now we see two different options. So if I just drag this over here to the right, we can actually take a closer look. So if I click this menu here, um, you'll see that there's a PDF drawing of this group. So if I click the drawing, we'll see that it actually opens up our web browser and opens up a PDF um, so we can get a closer look at exactly what we're getting. So this looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. And if I click here, it is going to insert this group directly into my project. So I'm just going to quickly add this group to all four rooms. Let me zoom in here and align these to the back wall real quick. Okay, so within a few seconds, we have quickly added casework to all four of our rooms, which is great for a spatial understanding and getting something pretty close to what we're looking for. But it's really not doing much more than that. So if I open up Fetch again, and I actually go to the Browse button, you'll see that there are actually all different kinds of content here. So this is laid out just like your project browser. Um, you'll see that we have annotation symbols in here, uh, model groups, individual families, templates, and schedules. I can come down here to the master schedule and insert that. So what the master schedule actually does is it takes all of our content, puts it in a nice schedule, no matter what kind of content it is, gives you a product code, gives you a price and some dimensions, and then groups it all by room. So since we put the same model group in every single room, we can see that we're getting the same price in each room. And then if we go down to the bottom, it actually is totaling up all of our rooms. Just by adding those model groups and loading in the schedule, uh, now we already have a budget for all of our casework for our exam rooms. So if I open up Fetch, I go back to our search results. That is actually what this second model group is. So anytime we have a sink or other similar situations, we always try and give you a normal option and an ADA version. So if I click here to insert this model group, give it a second to load, just drop it in, um, you can just, just delete that out. And now if I come over to this model group, I can actually make the switch just like a family time. So you'll see that we have the five foot option one and below we have the five foot option two. When you swap your model group, it actually realigns from the center, but we can just move it down here to the wall. And so now we have the ADA symbol, we have an ADA cabinet with the clearance zone. Without having to manually reconfigure all of our cabinets, we have an ADA exam room ready to go. I can actually double click in here to edit this model group. So if I just highlight all of my cabinets, um, I can actually come down here and make some changes. So if I want all of them to have locks, I can just click this button, and now I've added locks to all of them. If I want the wall cabinets to have glass doors, I can come over here to enter door number, hover over it, and we're given a tooltip. So I see that if I type in 4, I will get a thermofoil frame with a clear glass insert. 
let's type in four. Um, we can also add shelves, so if I want to, we can add an additional shelf. So now we have glass doors and that additional shelf. I can come in here, I can take both of these end ones, change them to 42 inches. Move them over, and then I can just realign my countertop and hit finish. If we go to the 3D view, we can actually see that each group that was like that changed at the same time. So when you paired this with the schedule, it really lets you make a lot of quick changes. So we can see that we went from about 4,500 to about 6,000 by making all those changes, and now our whole project has gone up by $4,000. Finally, the last thing we need to do is to sync our parameters. So if I come up here to fetch, I can either do it here from the ribbon or I can do it from the application itself. If I click this here, you'll see that it uh, updated four parameters. And if I click on view details, I can see exactly what happened. Um, so it actually was recalculating our product codes after we made the changes. Um, so now I can hit close and now we know we have the newest information.